right, my first guest tonight is a media personality, comedian and writer. Please put your hands together for the funny Mikey Robbins, everybody. Oh, <laughs> You came, you came rushing around. I I'm almost, so excited to see you. I almost didn't have a chance to get up and, uh, we're, 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 and cross the cityscape to the place where we're meant to meet. And we're, that, we're, we're, We are both getting old. We don't move like we used to. Oh, man, my knees are gone now. Really? Yeah, I, I, I've actually I've had a lot of creaking in my knees. It's, it's, yeah. I, I was going to say, would you like to feel it? But it's no, a bit, I don't. Nah, it's no, fair, no, enough no. Too. <laughs> fair enough, too. Uh, only if you kiss me on the back of the neck. I have, <laughs> I have problems. What time is it? What time? Yeah, what the hell? Yeah, yeah, Pluck yeah, yourself yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Hey, uh, yeah, yeah. have a drink. I will. All Cheers. Right, I'll join you. Hey, it's late night. Yeah. Oh, that's nice water. <laughs> <laughs> Particularly good year for water too, if I remember correctly. <laughs> so, what, uh, actually, for some reason, I was going to ask if you do impressions. I got one. Yeah. I, I, I vaguely, I can almost do. Yeah. Almost, I can almost do Russell Crowe. Can you? Good night, folks. How's it going? <laughs> uh, I, it was, that, 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 that sounded uh, a bit too chirpy for my liking. Yeah, well, actually, <laughs> actually, 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 it was funny. Years ago, when I was working on a radio station. I used to yeah. phone. I used to leave the studio and phone in yeah. every Friday as Russell when Russell first bought South. And, I, and I'm a huge Rabbitohs fan too. So I'd phone in and I'd do my impression of Russell. So I'd well, we're going to win this weekend. And I was at a game and I we passed each other in the corridor. I went, "Good day, Mikey." I went, "Good day, Russell." I said, "Yeah, I heard the impression. Really fucking funny, mate." Really yeah. funny. <laughs> And I tell you what, the guy can scare you. Yeah. It's scary. Well, I, I, I saw after the, the Souths finally he grabbed that the fella and, yeah, and, and I thought he was going to attack then. Well, mate, look, in all honesty, he's done a great job with the club yeah. and, you know, it's, it's still weeks later and I'm still partying. Yeah, well, uh, weeks later, it's not weeks later. <laughs> this could be months later, Michael. <laughs> In fact, it's, it's 15 years later, and I haven't been to bed. <laughs> it's funny because it's true. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Hey, um, you seem like a, you're not. You weren't come out of the uni comedy scene, did you? I went to uni. Oh, I did. <laughs> I went to uni. But, but, I, I, I got a BA at Newcastle University. <laughs> which is actually a drive-through uni. Yeah. You, you drive up, you order a BA, a packet of chips, you go around the corner and go back out with a degree. No yeah. way. And then you go back in and work there. Well, I, yeah, I, 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 <laughs> well, I was going to be a teacher, yeah. but that didn't work out. But yeah, I went to uni and I sort of got the performing bug at uni because there was a drama department at Newcastle Uni where we did plays and I was a thespian. I think a lot of people are at uni. Yeah. Did they sort of grow it's an experimental state. It's an experimental state. state. And, um, but while I was there, I started doing... Um, not, not, not sort of stand-up comedy, but little shows in bars with yeah. mates. And then, um... Yeah, but what do you call a little show in a bar? Because, like, nowadays... <laughs> it was actually just me and four pissed mates. Yeah, 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 just, yeah. Hey, hey this will be funny. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's a show. It, that was pretty much it. Yeah, that's like a comedy festival thing. Yeah, and, and then... I don't normally talk about this, but seeing as I like you, mate, um... I actually did... Oh, don't be no pity there. Look at that. <laughs> he paid me to say that. Yeah. Um... I could tell it's going to be dramatic because you were sort of... Oh, well, mate, OK, OK. You know, some people talk about their porno past. Some people talk about... Uh, I... We haven't had anybody on there. <laughs> <laughs> For about 18 months when I was in uni, I, I, did, I did kids' parties as a clown. <laughs> which is about... Oh, but yeah, that is. I, I, I was Morris the Clown. Morris the Clown. clown. You, you can read all about it in my new autobiography, Mummy the Clown Said F***. <laughs> 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 Look, some people, don't get me wrong, some people have a real skill yeah. to entertain children. There's been a lot of people who have started as clowns, though. I've known comedians and jugglers and, and yeah. they've branched out. Well, see, that was what, what were your tricks? What could you do? Well, that was my biggest problem, mate. I couldn't juggle. Right. I have to remember, back in those days, I was about 140 kilos, so I was terrified if I got on a unicycle, we'd lose it. <laughs> it's just have, you, have, have, you, have you ever been on a unicycle, though? I tried it once, mate. Yeah. But so I, I did this little sketch <laughs> where I, you know, I'd, I'd entertain the kids and I'd play a recorder with my nose and play some games and then paint their faces. There wasn't much to being a clown back Not then, Not a was great there? deal, mate. No, no. I mean, it, kids' attention spans now, you've got to be like this. Oh, that, see, that'd be booing you back it then. It was before the internet. Yeah. They were amazed to see another human. But it was, uh, I'll, I'll never forget the, the day my mum dropped me off for my first ever clown's party. Hang on, whoa. Hang on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Your mother's dropped you off to be a clown. Like, yeah, this, this is like the worst letter to penthouse ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but what would be worse would be the kids' letter. <laughs> no. 
Anyway, anyway so Mum dropped me off, cause, and uh, long story short, yeah. and just as I'm getting out of the car with my floppy shoes and my whole nonsense on, she, she, she turned to me and said, you had the marks to be a lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> and drove, drove off. off. And I got out of the car, I'm waving at the, at, the, at the birthday boy, and the kids are coming running. There's was this bogan house out in the western suburbs of New Newey, and the kids are coming from around the corner. I'm waving at them. It's my first kids' party. I'm all excited. What I didn't notice was an Alsatian about the size of a Shetland pony jumping the fence <laughs> who went me. That's why I found out the most important lesson in show business. Big fat man in long floppy shoes cannot outrun a dog. <laughs> The, uh, yeah, write that down, mate. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, so I'm on the back. This is my first at a kids' party. I've got my hands around the dog's throat, punching it in the face, oh, yeah. scream, get the dog off me! <laughs> and after that, all the kids were too scared to come near me. So that, that was my entry to being paid to be a performer, being attacked by an Alsatian. Things haven't changed. Not a great deal, no. no. <laughs> you can substitute that Alsatian for many other people. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, but look, you've gone from that. How did you get to... to uh, are you a Buddhist? No. Because you, 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 you chatted to the Dalai Lama when I he am, was here. You yeah. to host that event in, in Sydney, didn't Last you? Last year, it was, one of the, it was one of the biggest buzzes of my life. Yeah. Freebie. Dalai Lama didn't pay. I, didn't. I thought he might have coughed up a little coin or a... Yeah. Actually, no, he gave me a blessing, so I'm good for that. OK. Yeah. It's a bit like Caddyshack, isn't <laughs> it? I've, I've always got that. Yeah. You know, I got asked to um, MC the Dalai Lama's gig at the Sydney Entertainment Centre. Yeah. It was really cool, um, and I, so I thought all I had to do was, because they gave me the running sheet, and they said, yeah, bring on the choir, bring on this. Then they so said, he, had, he had support, actually. Oh, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. The angels reformed. That was yeah. great. Yeah. Um, and he said, now, bring on Kate Blanchett, and Kate Blanchett will interview his holiness. I went, I said, I'm not going to get, you know, I'm not going to work the big stage with, you know, oh, yeah. the living God and all that sort of stuff. But then it turned out, once Kate brought him on, he spoke for 40 minutes, and then I joined him back on stage yep. with a bunch of questions that people had sent in on the internet. All right. And so me and the Dalai Lama riffed. So you, so you didn't get the questions beforehand, you just... I got them on the day. You got them on the day? got them on the day. Did, were there some corkers in there? Were oh, there was... Or, the, were they, they vetoed by, you know... Yep. Here, yeah, let's it was get... like, you know, who's going to win the Melbourne Cup? That was gone, you yeah, know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, he was great. My, my favourite moment was, I was asking him the difference between question, uh, the question about the difference between happiness and pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> he said, oh, well, in the West, we relate too much on pleasure. Yeah. He said, too much drink, too much drink, 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 drink. And I said, oh, your holiness, you, you, you sound like my, my, my doctor. And he goes, oh, no, Mikey, oh, no. Oh, that, that laugh he has. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> if I was your doctor, I would say, lunch good, dinner not so much. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sitting on a, I just got slammed with a fat gag <laughs> from the friggin' Dalai Lama. Yeah, and how many were in the audience? Uh, about uh, 12,000. Yeah, that's all. Well, it's a small crowd. Yeah, but the worst thing was the first 10 rows were monks, so you couldn't even stage dive. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, we're going to take a quick break and be back with more of Mikey Robbins after this. <laughs> Welcome back. I'm still joined by Mikey here. Now, Mikey, yeah, I mate. know that you're a brain. You're a bit of a brain. Oh, uh, come on. No, no, no yeah. you are. Because you, you, you won a contest. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a hard <laughs> contest. No, this was a contest with a lot of comedians to be ah. who is the brainiest comedian. Yeah, yeah right. it was a couple of years ago on, on, yeah. on, on Channel 10. Yeah, on that, yeah. Mind you, though, and I'm not being false modest here, I did do a bit of a Steve Bradbury. Yeah? Because there was uh, Bob Down, Mark Trevorrow, and Red Simons, I think it yeah. was. They were working so hard to knock each other out that I sort of skated through and won. OK. But the nice thing was that I won 20 grand for Autism Australia. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, but the problem was that... that well, that's one. No, you, you can know, applaud that. Yeah, yeah. But then, I don't want to butter myself up, but then a few months later I actually did comedy, Temptation, yeah. the nine, and won that as well. <laughs> <laughs> but the nice thing, nice thing about that was, because you're playing for a home viewer, Okay. Right. And I won them two Volvos, a trip to Venoir, to a whole bunch of cash and all that sort yeah. of stuff. I got a lovely letter from the lady who won it. And they were retired, two retired teachers from Gippsland who hadn't been overseas for 40 years. Yeah. I really regretted keeping the cars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, they got the cars, they got the cars. They didn't need the cars. I'm going to put you to the test now because, uh, as we do every week, I'll just get this for you. Mm -hmm. as, a, as a chance to win, win that. Cool. It's not much. Everybody knows what it is now. You know, they've seen the show. <laughs> All right, here we go. Now, yeah. now, it's not that hard, OK? Stop what? saying that. It's not. <laughs> well, it's not. Well, for you, you're, you're a quiz master. Hmm? Now, what year were rabbits introduced into Australia? <laughs> 1874. 
No. No, 1788. Should I have the wrong way round? Yes, yes, dyslexic answer. But anyway, no, by the first fleet. There you go. There's something you can take to school on, on Monday. <laughs> or, or Friday or Thursday, whatever, <laughs> whenever this is being shown. <laughs> the next day. Yeah. <laughs> uh, also known as tomorrow. <laughs> oh, yeah. See? That's yeah, why. <laughs> <laughs> Unless it's a Friday, in which case you won't be going to school tomorrow. Yeah. What year the, were the Rabbitohs? South Sydney Rabbitohs. He's a Rabbitohs, Rabbitohs, Rabbitohs. Rabbit it's, rabbit rabbit it's, it's called Rabbitohs because the Rabbitohs were the guys who went around uh, Centennial Park, which yeah. is basically wasteland then, killing and collecting Rabbitohs, and they would sell them on the streets of Redford and Surrey Hills, and their cry was Rabbitoh. Okay. And they were introduced into the comp in 1908. Correct. Yes. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Played the first ever game against East. That doesn't matter. That's not part of the question. <laughs> okay. Who said I'm hunting wabbits? <laughs> um, that was uh, Elmer Fudd. No, <laughs> Hugh Hefner. <laughs> Cute. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this okay. This this is not a bad one. Um, approximately, how many rabbits are there in Australia today? Now I'm going to make it a multiple choice. Yeah, please. Uh, a three million. B, 30 million, C, 300 million, D, 3,000 million. OK. Well, uh, there's Gary. Yeah. <laughs> He's mate. I'm going to go with 300 million. You're correct. 300 oh, right. million. <laughs> 300 million. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, don't ask me if that's true or not, but it's... it's well, actually, but actually, by the time you've said it, it's now 320 million. Probably, yeah. Because <laughs> they do, do it like, like rabbits. Yeah. Anyway, um... <laughs> What animal featured on the two cent coin? Two cent coin? Hmm. Was it a no a kid was a five cent? Frill neck lizard. Correct, the frill neck yeah. lizard. I was trying to throw you. Yeah. No, I wasn't a rabbit. Yeah. Now, yeah. Listen. I don't know that because I'm old. Yeah. Now listen quickly, we've got to mention your website, because yeah. you do a website which we've got to do a plug for. Please, guys, if you want to get cut price meals, you want to get 25% off food and wine or 50% off just food at hundreds of restaurants around the, around the this country. This should be an infomercial now, shouldn't it? It should be at a desk. <laughs> uh, we, we have this website called lunchalot.com. Check it out. We have great deals with, with some of the best restaurants all around Australia. Yeah, are, lunchalot.com. Lunchalot.com. Okay, just, lunchalot just, just think of what I like to do <laughs> and put dot .com Oh, up yes. Yeah, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please thank one more time Mikey Robbins for me. Thanks, mate. That was great fun. No worries, thank you. We're going to be joined after the break by our crazy scientist, Richard Skull. Yeah.